Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I don't know how successful Windows 8 will be, uh, but you know Microsoft is obviously pinning a lot of hopes on uh, the next iteration of their operating system. I think it'll do okay, uh, but if they continue down the path uh, that uh, they've laid out in front of us, at least as far as the consumer preview is concerned, and I know many people say, oh, it's just beta. No, I don't think you realize uh, how many changes aren't going to happen despite people pushing back on Microsoft uh, for really some potentially catastrophic usability mistakes uh, that they may be making with Windows 8. It's funny. Uh, Microsoft byline is no compromises, but the one thing they've compromised is user experience, and we've detailed that uh, in the past. Some people are holding off right now on uh, buying an iPad or a Windows 8 tablet because uh, Windows 8 tablets don't yet exist. iPads exist. They're three generations in. Windows 8 tablets, not yet. So there are a few things that you might consider uh, you know, before really asking the questions, can uh, Windows 8 effectively compete with an iPad? Windows 8 has not yet shipped. Question is very difficult uh, to answer, but they're putting a lot on the table with uh, Windows 8. Uh, in fact, probably too much. Uh, the usability of Windows 8 on a tablet is okay with the Metro experience, the new experience, but as soon as you pop app into the, uh, or I should say pop back, not pop back, wasn't trying to coin a new phrase or anything, into the Aero or traditional desktop experience on a touch tablet, that's where it gets a little jarring. Uh, Microsoft's got a good idea. They're just uh, going about it in a very weird way uh, in, in terms of bringing people uh, to uh, you know where they want them to be, and that is using tablets. The thing that I think people have to keep in mind the most, and we, we've detailed it in the full story on LockerGnome.com is linked in this video's description. Um, I think the biggest hurdle that people will have to overcome and you're more than welcome to disagree with me. Price. If you cannot buy a, a tablet that competes with an iPad at the same price point as an iPad, uh, it's going to be a tough sell. $499 gets you an iPad. Do you think $499 is going to get you a decent PC, a tablet PC running Windows 8? Hmm. A nice screen, super high resolution speedy, a lot of apps, potentially. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Uh, I think that's going to be Microsoft's biggest problem with getting people to adopt Windows 8 tablets in the immediate future without subsidies uh, to OEMs. Price. And yeah, you can buy a, a super powerful Windows 8 PC uh, and spend a lot of money on it. Uh, the most expensive, uh, I guess, tablet Apple, uh, or iPad tablet, sorry. Uh, the most expensive iPad you can buy is just shy of $900, not including taxes. Uh, and with taxes, it's, it's usually over uh, $900. At least it is here in Washington State. Um, it's going to be tough for competitors in that space dealing with price. When you look at Windows 8 tablet, you can view weather. You can do that on the iPad. Oh, but you can view stocks, too. Well, you can do that on the iPad. Uh, but you can play Cut the Rope. Uh, you can do that on the iPad. Angry Birds, iPad. So if it boils down to apps, people are going to be looking at pricing. And if they're not looking at pricing, they may be looking at network options. I need an Ethernet port. Okay, fine. Then you probably don't want an iPad. If you need a, a hardwired network connection, you're probably not going to be buying a tablet because a tablet with a network port is a little awkward at least not without some kind of uh, docking system. Uh, then, of course, you can dive into speed of the computer, uh, capacity in terms of how much storage. Uh, 64 gigs is where an iPad tops out. You're probably going to see uh, a better options in tablet computers, although I'd be shocked if uh, an OEM could get a comparable tablet computer, PC computer, uh, running Windows 8, uh, on a capacitive touchscreen with a super high resolution, 64 gigs at least, uh, and an SSD, solid state drive, uh, and, and compete with the iPad. Uh, there are a lot of things to consider. It's not just Windows versus iOS, guys. Okay, it's not just about the platform wars here. There's a lot of things to consider. And we outline the options, you know, price, network options, hardware, processor, apps, service and support. That's a biggie. Screen size and resolution, two different things. 
Screen size, completely different from resolution. Completely. That's why you can have a, an 84-inch monitor, but if the resolution is 1024 by 768, ugh. So, uh, can Windows 8 tablets effectively compete with Apple's iPad? Remains to be seen, but I think it's going to be a, a tough one uh, if they can't fall in line with all the options that uh, Apple's placed with the bar. Can, can they make it? Do you guys think that they can make it? Not just Microsoft, but all of their partners as well, because it ain't just Microsoft in this game, guys. This isn't just about Windows versus iOS. Hate to tell you that. There's a lot more uh, that uh, you have to consider, especially when making a decision between these two, I would say, radically different experiences.